I just wanted to do a quick video to talk you through all of the features that are now in the automation area because we've added and improved it since it was initially launched. In the general area, I mean first of all uh, you can create as many strategies as you like, apply them to as many markets as you like all at once, individual rules to uh, in files to individual markets and so on and you can also layer the rules so there's no obligation to have just one rule in a market you could actually put as many as you like doing as many different things as you like simultaneously but in the general area um, you can place opening bets uh, relative to a fixed date and time the event start time or the uh, in play time you can nominate how many triggers you want um, and you can apply the following rules you can place a back bet, a lay bet, back all selections, lay all close a trade on selection, cancel unmatched bets on a selection, cancel unmatched bets in the market, um, green all those selections, keep or apply keep all to unmatched bets, take SP all to unmatched bets, or you can export the profit and loss report. Profit and loss report is a way of um, keeping track of how much you made during the day. If you're in practice mode you can export the PL after a market is closed and then return to it at the end of the day to see how you've done. The parameters, if I um, nominate a back bet, the parameters apply when you're placing a bet in the market. You can decide whether to place it at a fixed price, the best market price, second best market price, third, or custom ticks above and below the current price. The staking, you can do a fixed amount, or you can do a fixed liability now, or you can do a percentage of balance. So you could say 2% of my current balance that I have in my account. Obviously you need to be careful with that one. but it's a feature that a lot of people have requested but you can also do by liability as a percentage as well so you can actually say how much um, you want to uh, create in liability say for example if you're laying and do that as a percentage of your balance you can apply all of the global settings on there stop screening with stop trailing stops and so on all of the global settings are available within here and then we've been expanding the range of conditions that you can apply to bets that are going in the market or functions that you're applying within the market. So this is the current list that you can see. Is the market in play? Is it not in play? The fixed odds condition is the selection uh, is the selection's back or lay price or last traded price at a certain value. You can do a relative odds condition as well. So you can say is or are any of these three greater than, less than, equal to something else within the market at a certain price. Uh, weight of money condition, number of selections, i.e. Um, how many are in the market, has there been something withdrawn or added and therefore don't place a bet. Close all trading profit, is my profit greater than, less than? Uh, green all profit condition, is the amount of profit that I've got in the market greater than, less than? How many unmatched bets are there in the market at the moment? Uh, what is the book percentage? The market's back or lay book percentage is greater than, less than, whatever percentage you're hunting down. Um, how long was it since the market is, was suspended? So, for example, if there's a goal or a critical event occurs within a match. Sorry, it's just switched back automatically. Um, if there's a critical event that's occurred in the match, when did that occur? Because I don't want to place a bet for a certain period either side of that. Um, and you've also got an unmatched bet condition as well. So this ensures that if you have an overactive script, you can error trap the possibility of having two bets in the market at the same time. You can say, well, don't place a new bet if I've only just placed one or one was placed within the last two, five, ten, thirty seconds. So anyway, there's a quick overview of a number of the rules in there. Best way to get used to all of this and to mess around and uh, learn how to integrate and design your own custom rules is to basically fire up Bet Engine in practice mode um, and just go for it because then you'll be able to learn how all of these rules interact and what sort of interesting features and characteristics you find in the market using them.